Hi there. My name's Kate, and this is my lovely model, Tom. And we are going to try and demonstrate where the electrode would go, we think, for trying to contact the infraspinatus muscle, which will perform an external rotation movement. Um, there's some pretty good research out there that shows that this nerve that feeds this muscle is often quite functional, despite the fact that people, some people with OBPI never actually learned how to use this muscle. So with biofeedback, hopefully you'll learn how. So turn completely to the back. What you're going to do is find the shoulder blade. Here's the ridge of the, don't pop it out like that. He can do bad things with his shoulder blade. Find the ridge of the shoulder blade, which is kind of like this. Bottom of the shoulder blade and kind of comes like this. So the shoulder blade is this big triangle that goes out to the point. You're going to want to try and put this electrode on the middle of the triangle, sort of facing from the middle of the edge of this shoulder blade down to here and up to the point of the shoulder. And that's going to capture muscles that are on the back of the shoulder blade and pull the arm around like that. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. You want pause? No. Okay. I'm thinking you even draw on my arm. On my... Oh, well, okay. Maybe okay. I'll do that the next time. Okay. Okay, if this doesn't make sense, we'll go back and draw. And then what you want to do, now turn, turn a little bit more so the person can see your arm action. Probably your arm is going to be across your tummy like that, and it's going to be really hard to open it out to the side. So I think at first what we want to do is uh, put some resistance right here. We got to get that. We can take that date off later. Uh, we'll have some resistance right here, and you just try and move your arm away against it. Okay, and that should give you some like movements. With no. the elbow, the elbow in. Open out like that. So you want to think pushing. Now, who knows what it will take to get the muscle to work, but that's the action that it is supposed to do, and it'll come even more in after you're up here. But you have to push hard to get it because you're not working that hard. Okay. Okay. So. This is what we're going to try. What we're going to try and achieve is this swinging the arm open like a gate motion. Okay, open and out. Now, people who have OVPI actually don't need to push against the resistance that hard at first because of all the other muscles that are contracting that are actually trying to defeat this motion. You can make that muscle work really hard, but it still doesn't result in much force in the arm right away until you get the other muscles that are co-contracting under control. And as you gradually actually get those other muscles under control, you'll find that just opening the arm out to the side, just do that like, you're, like you can, hardly activates the muscle at all because it's actually a very easy movement. So as you get more in control of the muscle and are able to diminish all of the overflow in the co-contractions, you're going to find that you actually have to add resistance in order to get the same level of muscle contraction. So don't forget that phenomenon. As you get better and better, your muscles won't have to work as hard. All right, so that's what you're going to try and do. Now the other thing you can try and do, depending on your range, is get someone to actually help you open the arm as far as it will go, and then try and continue to open it from there. So push, your, push against my palm of my hand and try and open it from there. And then, and then sequentially turn the arm out as far as it will go and keep working it out until you are at the limit of your range and you can still activate this muscle. Okay? And I'm hoping you have great success with this because I can't wait to hear about it. Alright, that's it for that. Thank you very much. Bye. Say bye Tom. Bye bye. <laughs>